Riley and Ethan Mastering All right, yeah, uh, you know, it's a heck of a college football game. Uh, we came up one play short. Really proud of the the fight of our guys. We, we fought our tails off. Uh, didn't didn't play particularly good in the in the first half. Uh, you know, struggled to get much going offensively. Um, defensively, you know, we had a couple of just big plays where we came out of gap. Um, you know, and that was really kind of the story of the first half. But the guys rallied. Uh, we did some really, really good things in the second half as a football team. Had a couple opportunities to close the door uh, and you know, again finish one play short. Um, it was a real battle out there. Uh, tremendous atmosphere. Uh, two good teams going at it. We're obviously very disappointed, but know the season. Uh, there's a lot left in it. A long, long ways to go. I, I like the team. I like the team I got in that locker room. There's a bunch of fighters in that room. A bunch of guys are going to get better quickly. And I uh, look forward to uh, getting back and getting to our prep for Wisconsin. Coach Darren Haynes, uh, KCAL. How would you describe the way you guys feel knowing this was the first Big Ten game and it didn't go the way you wanted it to go? Um, yeah, we just, there's two, two good football teams going at it. Um, yeah, of course, as, as competitors, you're disappointed. We gave ourselves an opportunity to win a football game, um, which doesn't happen a whole lot here. And uh, so I thought, you know, we put ourselves in position, but you gotta, you gotta finish it. You gotta make some of those plays in the end. Uh, disappointed we didn't make it. Uh, disappointed, certainly not defeated. Um, excited to get back and have our first one at home. Thank you. From your initial look, um, what does the offense line need to do better? Well, it was a good opponent. Um, you know, and then obviously when you play in an atmosphere like that, there's 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 obvious challenges. Um, um, you know, they they got some momentum early defensively. I thought. We made a couple of lineup changes there, and I thought we handled it there uh, pretty well for a while. We got to where we were moving pretty good. Uh, it's a good group. Listen, we made some mistakes. Um, some of our young guys came in there, made a few mistakes. We just got beat one on one a couple of times against some pretty good players. I mean, that's going to happen. Um, but it was a good battle in there. Uh, thought we hung in there and fought, uh, but we definitely have to get better. Lincoln, your first year, you guys have really well. Your first loss made the line. Last year, we played first loss in the line. What are your top 16 games? Uh, the players and coaches in that locker room and the fight that you saw there on this football team today, they give me complete confidence. Lincoln, I know hindsight's 20 20, but the drive, the possession you guys had before there, that drive, three and out, you know, still have very little time. Yep. Do, you, do you second guess that in any of those? Yeah, no, I thought I could have been better. I didn't think I called a very good drive there. Right before halftime, the play with uh, Kyron throwing the pass, they said it was tipped. Did you ask for a challenge? Is that what was, was going on? No, I just I thought they would review it because it was such a significant play, and they they told me that they did. So, you know, that was it. Easton, what did you see on the final drive by them and the big run they broke? What, what happened there? I think it was just better execution by them. Like we got all the fight. I don't think it was they wanted it more than us. It was a four quarter fight like we saw, but when it comes down to big games like this, you got to execute. And credit to Michigan, they executed better than us. But learn by the returns. Of the week. Lincoln, the stereotype, I guess, Big Ten football, physical and, and ground attack, I guess, in this first Big Ten game for you guys, how, how would you want to, I guess, assess how you guys did in that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to make a bunch of big picture assessments without having a chance to sit there and study it. Um, you know, there were some, it was it was kind of back and forth. I mean, we had some times where we ran the ball really well, some times where we didn't. They had, you know, a couple of big plays, and then we had a lot of times where, you know, we were stuffing them in the backfield. So I think it was just kind of a classic back and forth fight, and uh, um, sort of felt like on the sidelines. Miller, how much did you guys feed off the defense today, and especially that fumble late? What did that do for us? Yeah, um, the defense played their ass off. Uh, like Coach said, the entire game, uh, we didn't help them out very much early on. So that's on us, and we got to be better, especially me, first half. So, um, like I said, I mean, they got a couple big plays, but I mean, they're a really good team. A team that won 22 straight Big Ten games. It's hard to come in here and win. So they're going to make their plays, and you know, we got to help our defense out more on the offensive side. Like, how about, how about what he's played? Yeah, it was an awesome play. Just the fight. I mean, it's what I would expect out of anybody in our locker room. Um, but that was a we've had we've had two kind of like that already this year. You know, we had the one against LSU as well. Um, that ended up, you know, uh, it didn't play out the same. But it was a similar type play. So again, you had the question earlier about why I'm leaving the locker room. Plays like that. 
I thought, you know, we moved, we had to move Murph over. Um, again, I don't want to pass a lot of judgment until I can sit there and study it. Um, I know those guys battled. You know, Murph hasn't taken a ton at left tackle here this year, and so I thought he came in a battle, and I thought Tobias got in there and did some really good things too. So it's a talented front. Again, challenging atmosphere. I mean, it's about, you know, about as tough as it's going to get. And uh, so battle, certainly, can we be better? Yes, uh, but a lot of fight in that group. Is there nothing on Lake and uh, Kai? I, I don't. I don't have anything right now. It came straight from the locker room. Miller, you said you feel like you got to be better in the first half. What? Happened maybe in the first half. What did you kind of see uh, most of the struggle that you guys had to get ball moving? Yeah, I mean, I think we just didn't settle in offensively until probably halfway through the second quarter. Um, you know, obviously, I feel like I cost our team in a big way turning the ball over. Um, you can't do that against a really good team, so I got to be a lot better. And you know, we're, we got to come in and handle the environments off the bat. You know, I mean, you can't give a good team a chance to jump on you. So we'll learn from it, um, and I think we'll get we'll be better for it. Coach, what were your thoughts on the special teams work today, return team? Uh, didn't didn't get a ton out of the return game. Had some opportunities certainly in the punt return game, and I think that was probably you know the you know maybe the biggest negative. I thought there was a couple that we shouldn't have fair caught. Um, had a chance to return, um, you know, and a couple where we just didn't quite get the seams that we wanted. Not much not much activity on kickoff return. Just the way the game went now. You know, punt team was awesome. I mean, we flipped the field a ton. Guys did a tremendous job on punt, and again, Michael was awesome on, on kickoffs. Easton, was there any specific uh, adjustments you guys made at halftime to you know come out so strong in the second half, you know, three and outs, pretty consecutively uh, in the third quarter? Uh, Coach Lynn, you know, he dialed some stuff up, but Rudy just rallied together, knowing that it was going to be a four quarter fight. Like I said, execution wasn't as good in the in the first half, giving up two big explosive plays. I think, we, like I said, we just rallied in the second half. At halftime, schematically, we knew they were going to run the ball, and then Rudy was just mano a mano who can win. And, yeah, that was an adjustment. So. Okay, was there anything you reevaluated play calling wise or off the field thing wise at halftime and try to adjust from there? Uh, I mean, there was a few things with some of the, the O line lineup changes. Um, I had not, not anything drastic. I uh, felt like we had a lot of opportunities during the first half that we, uh, that we missed. Um, so, uh, probably more about execution than calls. Lincoln or Easton, I guess, can you shed some light on how Michigan's offense is still not easy to stop, even when they don't have much of a passing attack going? Well, I mean, they've got they've got they've got good players up front, quarterbacks, athletic. I mean, you know, the thing that the thing that hurt us was just was big plays. I mean, we gave up the, the drives. You know, they had the, they had a pick six, and then they had. Every, I think every drive that they got a score on was, you know, there was an explosive play. And that's, I mean, that was the name of the game. Because, I mean, we probably, I mean, it'd be interesting to go back and look at it, but, I mean, we probably played, probably won, you know, 80, 85% of the, the, the defensive snaps, you know, but we lost some of them big. And that's, you know, that's the mistakes that you can't make and things that we'll have to clean up. Let's do one more. Thank you, gentlemen.